Now, battle commences between the villages of Hart Hill near Sheffield and Cherry Burton on Humberside, with all hands to the parish pump. one another. Today we're in East Yorkshire at Cherry Burton and their rivals are the South Yorkshire village of Hart Hill with Woodall. Both teams are hoping for a place in our semi-final but believe me we're going to have a lot of fun on the way. The villagers have both volunteered their best cooks and best gardeners for our gardening and cookery sections. And there'll be tests of mental agility and muscles with our quick-fire quiz and tug-of-war. Villagers have also decided the entertainers which they believe will get the most applause in our entertainment section. Now, what you may ask is at stake, apart from the honour and the glory, I will tell you, not one but two trophies. We have a magnificent inscribed bench and the parish pump. Pump! I wonder who shall take those prizes home? Well, I dare say we'll find out after the final. But let's get through this first, the quarter-final, and let's introduce you to the teams. Starting at home with Cherry Burton. The village pump provides a meeting place for Cherry Burton, whose name comes from the ancient word for fortress, and troops used to wash their tanks in the pond during the war. Now Cherry Burton's 1,400 inhabitants include commuters and a thriving farming community. Sir Walter Scott mentioned Hart Hill in Ivanhoe, and hand-painted village signs proclaim its relationship with the old sandstone hamlet of Woodall. 1,900 people live in this peaceful village which lies on the border between Derbyshire and South Yorkshire. Its inhabitants can enjoy water sports on Hart Hill's three ponds, while on the land life continues as before. Now, as they say, that's entertainment. And the lady who's going to judge this section of our programme is Sally Tai from Sheffield's Lyceum Theatre. Now, we've asked the villagers to choose their own entertainment and to provide a show for us all here today, so let me introduce you straight away to the three shyest clog dancers from Hot Hill. Take it away! <laughs> That was pounding them to pieces, but delightful nonetheless. And now for our second entertainment, a particular peculiar brand of humour provided by Cherry Burton and 
the Cherry Stones. Take it away. <laughs> And I pull up all the weeds in a cherry burton garden. I lay down in the sun until I'm brown in, in a, a cherry burton garden. I got my binoculars to view the sights that nature has. The birds and the wildlife are very dear to me. And by an old bird's nest, I'm making an arrest in a cherry burton garden. The sound of the cricket team losing can be heard in the cherry burton garden. The vicar squeaky bike and the pretty cuckoo bird in a cherry burton garden. Dip, dip, dip from the cups, sweet singing in the pub, washing down the car with a rubber dub dub. And as the church bells ring, it's, it's time, time to pack, pack it in in the cherry burton garden. Alas, poor Yorick, he isn't feeling well. In a cherry burton garden. He's been on a diet, but nobody can tell. In a cherry burton garden. Grows big and bold. Yeah. Dig it over, break it over. Dig it over, break it over. Dig it over. Right, so it's uh, it's club dancers versus actors. With a, just a tinge of Shakespeare there. Sally, what's the verdict? Well, the three Shires clog dancers from Hart Hill made it look like easy work, even though their calf muscles were rippling and they were really enjoying themselves, so I'll give them eight. Over to the home team, Cherry Burton. Well, a host of village characters with an extraordinary twitcher, and unfortunately, the stones aren't going to pit them at the post because it's a tiebreaker with eight all. Oh! <laughs> what, a, what a star! Thanks very much indeed, Sally. Linda. Thank you, Sally. Well done to both villages. Well, we're here at the barbecue, and our chief barbecuer today is Peter. Uh, which team are you supporting today, Peter? Well, it's got to be Cherry Burton, hasn't it? And do you think they're going to win? It's no doubt at all. No. How much are you saying your hamburgers for today? Very cheap, 50 pence, but that does include tomato ketchup. All oh, right, and um, can I have one afterwards? At a price, yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you. Right, now it's time to move on to our cookery section. Now, the villagers have been asked to provide a meal for two people in under three hours and for under £20. And the judge for this competition is Eugene McCoy. The only man in our cookery competition is George from Harthill. He's used to being in the firing line as he was a former army cook. George, he looks like a very young Albert Roux dressed like that. <laughs> And you're going to cook my dinner for me today, are you? I am, yes. Right, so, OK, and what we're going to have? Uh, chilled cucumber, cucumber soup. That's great, with, yes. And some chicken imperial with yeah. fresh vegetables. Yes. And some raspberry mousse. That's great. Well, I'm diving at starvation here, so yeah. can we get on? Yes. Super. Cucumber. Onion, yeah. For the soup. Rough chop. Yes. And you're going to leave the skin on. That's true. Right, George, main course time, eh? Yep. Now, some nice chicken breast here. Yeah. Right? And what are you going to do with these? I'm going to do this. Flour them and lightly brown them in the, in the butter. Right. And then place them in a casserole, add the mushrooms, onion. Yep. Okay. Pop them in the oven. In casseroles. That's right. Great. And we're doing two eggs, two large eggs, four ounces of sugar. Yeah, and then just this, it's starting to boil. No, take it off. So I'll take that off, off for you. So we've transferred this from a pan into the bowl. Yes. And we're going to now add some gelatine. Gelatine, yes. And some sherry. Sherry, sherry that's, that's right. Yes. Are we sure it's sherry? It's got a, it's got a sort of whiskey bottle, eh? Yeah, that's the only thing I could find to put it in. Oh, well, that'll do then. Uh, I'll just put, put this into a mould and put it in the fridge. Right. Then decorate it with radishes and cream. Right. Thank you, George. Yep. Well served. Have a sit down. <coughs> Chilled cucumber soup. Delicious taste, George. Delicious. 
I just could have got a piece of this, I think. Do you want you to stand just here? You don't mind if I just help myself with this, do you? No, no. I'll just put a little bit there. And if you just want to have that bit there, George, now just start on mine. Is that all right? <laughs> Thank you very much for my dinner. I really enjoyed it. Miriam? Hello, Eugene. How are you? Miriam from Cherry Burton likes cooking foreign food, but today her menu has a local flavour. Grilled Farndale goats cheese on an apple salad. Yes. Braised beef in black sheep ale. Yes. Sounds fantastic, that. It is, it is. And some cherry batter pudding. Yes, right? Cherry with, Burton. And uh, cherry sauce with that? Yes, Sarah? yes. Cherry Excellent. and brandy sauce. I feel stoned now. I don't know if it's the cherries or the eels, so let's get cooking. <laughs> right. So, I know we're going to seal off the beef, eh? Yes. Very quickly. Yes. Keep all the juices in it. And then I'm going to add the vegetables. Right. And put the beef back again. Put the beef back in. Yes. Then... Now, just have a little drop of that while you're going in there, <laughs> just to try it. Thank you. Can't be wasting it all on the beef. Great. And cover. Okay. Cherry batter. Yes. Pretty um, standard. Yes, the normal Yorkshire pudding batter mixture, really, with some sugar added. Just to sweeten it up. Yeah. Yes. 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 Not really a Yorkshire pudding expert, as you can tell. I'm not from Yorkshire, but uh, <laughs> I've learnt. <laughs> These are morello cherries, aren't they? Yes, they are, yes. Food is gone. And there won't be any left. <laughs> I'll um, put the batter in the tin, yep. then a few cherries, and yep. then I put a bit of sugar on the finished pudding. Right, okay. <laughs> this looks lovely, this cheese, yes, isn't it? Yes. Especially with the herbs on the outside. It is, it is. It's, it's uh, local Farndale. And how long does that take for you to go? Just two or three minutes, yeah. just till it starts bubbling, so until there's little brown spots on the top. Miriam, halt just there. Thank you very much indeed. Lovely. This is absolutely delicious, this. Lovely, that. This is fabulous, this. Great colours on this, Miriam. Looks lovely. Try the whole thing together. Right, the Yorkshire pudding is good texture. Mm. Absolutely delicious. You again. Hard work this evening in judging. Harter with Woodall, George, the only man in the competition. Good soup, George. Again, in the main course, more seasoning, I think. But you have a good technique, and obviously you're professional in your old days. Fantastic. Miriam from Cherry Burton. Use of fresh ingredients, good beef, great Yorkshire pudding dessert. Here are the marks. Miriam, Cherry Burton, seven. George, Harter with Woodall, five. Thank you, Eugene. These burgers are so good, I think even he would like them. Right then, so the scores after the first two sections are Hart Hill just behind at the moment with 13, and Cherry Burton, the home team, with 15 points. Yeah. And there's still loads to go yet. We've got the quiz and the gardening section coming up, and after the break, join us on the Tug of War field. See you in a minute. Welcome back to the Parish Pump Test of Strength and Stamina. 16 Arnie Schwarzenegger lookalikes are now going to take part in our tug of war competition. We have on my right Cherry Burton. Yeah! And on my left, Hardhill. Yeah! The man, whoa, whoa, needle match, needle match, the man in charge from the Tug of War Association, Mr. Trevor Lax. Over to you, Trevor. Thank you. Pick up the rope. Take the strain. Steady. Pull! Come on! I think they made it this weekend. Oh, it's a tight match at the moment. Quite well equal match teams, I think. So they've got to go through all this maybe twice more. Yeah. I don't know where they get the energy from. Oh, yes. Oh, challenge there from Hartill. And oh, yes! And he runs down. Look at that. What an amazing reversal. Oh, I don't believe this. They're pulling Trey Burton all the way back again. Oh, look at that. Look at that. This is amazing. Oh, I've never seen the lights. I've never seen the lights. Oh, tactics. That was amazing. Amazing. Incredible. Loving 
Burton chaps suffered a, a rope burn apparently, so uh, he can't had continue. To make, had to make a substitute again. Yeah? Yep. Right here then, go. here we go. We got the rope. Uh, the, lo oh, the local support yeah. started up already. And there they go again. But look, look, it's only moved what? Three, three, four. And then they pull it back, and right. then it goes. Watch again. No, it's going. And they pull Stay. it back. I think Cherry Burton have got the edge this time, oh, definitely. Like Even though they're a person down and they've had to make a substitution. It's nearly there now. I don't, oh, think, I don't think it's very... Oh, can't do it this time. No. Oh, that's oh. it. That's it. Okay. So that's one all. Now the playoff. This is going to be a serious... Let's inside it. Right, Well, it's the, uh, the third and final pull. And just to let you know how serious this competition is, one member of each team has had to retire injured with rope burn. So we've got two replacements now, and this is the decider. This is the needle match. Let's hand over to the uh, Trevor. Trevor here. Trevor. Oh. Ready, Coach Jenny Burton. Ready, Coach Hartill. Pick up the rope. Check the stage. Give Jenny Burton. Give steady. Pull. It's Cherry, it's Cherry. It looks like being down. It looks a like a valiant fight back though. Look at that valiant fight. Oh, look at that. They won the oh. That's it. And Cherry Burton. Oh, okay. A wonderful result. Commiserations, Martin. But don't give up hope yet. There's plenty of the programme to go. Now let's uh, catch up with Brenda. Woo! That looked like hard work. Well done to Cherry Burton. So, the scores after the first three rounds are Hart Hill on 13 and Cherry Burton moving into quite a convincing lead now on 20. <laughs> now it's time for our gardening section. The emphasis in the quarterfinals is on the vegetables, but I'm sure the flowers will get a look in if they can. Our judge for the series is Joe Maiden. Hello, welcome to Cherry Burton. It's nice to be here, Andy. But tell me, you're an organic gardener. That's right, I think it's the way forward. What have we got here? These are actually Florence fennel next to the fence. And garlic? Planted in October for the bigger bulbs, yeah. That's the one that builds you up physically and drags you down socially. That's what we're told. <laughs> nice, uh, nice young plants there. Going to have a decent crop on. Absolutely. Not too bad for late September plantings, yeah. I think. Shallots. Is that a new variety? Atlantic is this yeah. one. Apparently a good producer. Yes, I think it's fairly good for the show. You like to do a bit of show work, I do you? indeed, yes. I like to try. Do you dig plenty of mucking for the beans? They always get plenty, yes. yes. This yes. is a very colourful vegetable, the chard, isn't it? Ruby chard. This yeah. is the first time I'm trying this. Yeah. Uh, I, I believe you can use the leaves as a boiled veg and uh, you can use the stems as well. You know, I think it's a bit like spinach. Dual purpose, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. You've got some nice runner beans there as well. Did you dig a trench for them? Yes, these go in the standard trench, and uh, these are actually Lady Di. Ah, yes. Well, I'll tell you what, Andy, you're going to have a marvellous crop on this plot. It's, uh, it's grand to have had a look around it with you. Thank you very much we'll indeed. You're very welcome. Hello, Colin. Ah. Pleased to meet you. This is the entry from Hart Hill with Woodall, isn't that's, it? That's right, yes. You took a grass verge from the front of your house and you've converted into something like this. It's, yes, it's been a pleasure. It's lovely, isn't it? Yes. That is is grand, isn't it? Is, it is, it's lovely. It gives that. you a lovely early it summer does. show. It does, ah, it does. But they tell me you're a good vegetable grower, so let's go and have yeah, a look right. at your veg plant. Fair enough. Right. That's going to be nice. Colin, how often do you feed them? Once a week. Once a week. Yes. Hanging baskets do enhance the garden, don't they? Oh, they make beautiful. What about your peas? What the, variety is this? Uh, Calvin and Wonder. Plenty of water when they get into this uh, stage. Oh, yes, yeah. they will eat plenty of water. Same with broad what beans, beans, yes. What, right. what variety is this one? It's a long pod. It's, it, it, the seed is 26 years old. I, you save your own? I save my own. Oh, huh. I'm a big believer in this. And yep. You've got a good and keep it. That's right, every time. Some more peas there. Uh, yeah, early on wood. Oh, that's, and that's your own safe seed? That's my own safe seed, yes. I love a bit of that, have you? Well, right, you can. Now the judging comments for Hart Hill with Woodall. Colin's garden impressed me tremendously. This guy uh, had great impact on the neighbourhood. It created uh, a grass verge area into a wonderful garden. It put a lot of effort uh, into his ground preparation because his crops were growing very, 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 very well indeed. Now to Cherry Burton and Andy's garden. It's nice to see a young man uh, getting very involved in horticulture, uh, trying very much to be an organic gardener. Both these gardens were very, very close together. 
and I couldn't split them, so I went and gave them eight points each. Right, thank you very much indeed, Joe. Now, as the programme builds up to a thrilling climax, I can reveal the scores at this stage are Cherry Burton, 28 points, Hart Hill, 21. But all could change because we now come to the quiz. Now, the first section of the quiz is a team section. The second bit of it is quick-fire answers. First of all, let me uh, ask the teams to introduce themselves, starting with Cherry Burton. Graham Brown, an accountant. Charles Griffiths, quarry manager, team captain. Alan Ross, timber agent. Robert Ward, accountant. Peter Halfpenny, financial advisor, and the team captain. Pete Murray, a civil servant. OK, well, let's start with the, uh, the team questions. OK, it's uh, captain only to answer. I'll start with Cherry Burton. Whose trademark is a carved mouse? Sorry, you're out of time. I can hand that over for a bonus point to Hard Hill. Whose trademark is a carved mouse? No. It's a furniture maker, isn't it? No, and you're also out of time. It's Robert Thompson, Mousy Thompson. Let me go on now to your question. Where is Whitmer Whatmergate? It's in York. Correct. Which city on the River Eyre hosts test matches each year? Headingley. Headingley. Which city... I'm, I'm sorry, I had to take your first answer. The answer is, of course, Leeds, so I can't there take, a, take that over to you for a bonus point. So now then, uh, Hartill, on to your question. What is the name of the ruined Cistercian Abbey on the River Skell? In Fountains Abbey. Correct. In which Yorkshire town is the Cutler's Hall? Ripper. Ripper. No, I'm sorry, I can pass it over for a bonus. In which Yorkshire town is the Cutler's Hall? Sheffield. Correct. And now your question again. Where is the land of green ginger? Grimsby. No, I can pass it over for a bonus. Cherry Burton, where is the land of green ginger? Hull. Hull is correct. So thank you very much no, indeed, no, no, gentlemen. No, 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 we now no, go no, on to the quick-fire questions. Which gland in the human body produces the hormone insulin? Gland. No, it's the pancreas. Which country came into being when East Pakistan broke away from West in 1971? Bangladesh. The answer is correct. If ambrosia is the food of the gods, what Nectar. Is the Nectar. Nectar is correct. What was Sri Lanka known as before? Ceylon. Ceylon is correct. Which Australian won the men's singles at Wimbledon in 1987? Pat Cash. Pat Cash is correct. How many years of marriage are celebrated by a pearl wedding anniversary? Ten. 30. The musical Cats is based on whose poem? Correct. Who led the expedition that was the first to reach the North Pole in 1909? Baird. The answer is Robert Peary. What is the only even prime number? Two. Correct. What word can mean all of the following? A medieval weapon, a fish, and a... Pike. Correct. In which game could you use the Blackwood Convention? Break. Correct. And that brings well, us to uh, the end of the quiz. That well, really was a thrilling end. Congratulations to both teams. That really was quick fire. Hardhill picked up some valuable points there. They scored eight on the quiz. Terry Burton scored four. But the final result is Hardhill 29 points. Cherry Burton, 32. Welcome to Cherry Burton. So, next week, Alan and I will be in Bishop Bunkton in North Yorkshire, and they'll be taking on the Derbyshire village of Ashover. So, goodbye.